So let me first remind our members to please type in your location beside your name and for our guests to type the name of the person who invited you beside your name. Okay. So we are going to start today's class now. Okay. So for today's class, we are going to talk about our future, okay? And our future, I mean our savings, kids' education, our investments, retirement, hospitalization, and of course, peace of mind. So are we all ready? Okay. So here's a trivia. Uh, did you know that 98% of Filipinos who are retired do not have retirement fund? Only 2% of them are financially stable, meaning they can live comfortably after their retirement. So of this 98% of retired Filipinos who are not financially stable, 45% of them depend on their families, on their children, and their relatives. 30% of them rely on charity, mga donations. Yeah. And 20% of them continue to work, you know, because they have to live. They have to survive. So they still continue to work even after retirement. In fact, last year, the Banco Central Governor, uh, Benjamin Diokno, said 80% of retiring Pinoys are not financially prepared. Okay. So my name is Hazel Kapil Mancilla. I am a physician by profession and a practicing dermatologist. And now I'm a financial literacy advocate of IMG, and I will be your speaker for today's uh, class. Okay. So they say when it comes to securing the future, many people, many good people fail. Okay, mga teachers, mga mababait na professionals, they fail. Many smart people fail. Yung mga valedictorians nung, ano, nung nag-aaral pa sila, they fail. Many hardworking people fail. Many professionals, which includes doctors, lawyers, teachers, uh, what, uh, and other professionals, they fail and most end up retiring without enough savings. Bakit po kaya? Okay? So these people do not set out naman to fail. In fact, they work hard. They work hard but still end up with inadequate savings. Worse, they end up with piled up debts, no? Parang mas ang naiipon nila is utang instead of savings. So the most notable reason is that they fail to plan and manage their finances. Because bakit? They do not know how. Hindi naman ito tinuro nung college, no? nung high school. Hindi ito tinuro sa atin. Okay? And yet, most people believe that financial education is only for the wealthy, for those who are engaged in business. No? In IMG, we have this book entitled The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. So we are here to teach you and share with you the basics of financial education because we believe that anyone is capable and should be given the opportunity to change his or her future for the better. So in IMG, we also have mentors, of course. We have people we look up to, people who are experts in their field to teach us and guide us as we journey towards financial freedom. So showing you here are the pillars or the founders of IMG. We have Sir Joen, Sir Noel, and Sir Bart. Okay, so they are the founders. And we also have mentors, which includes Brother Bo Sanchez, who is a Catholic lay minister and writer of several financial literacy books. And of course, Sir Rex Mendoza, who is the CEO of Rampver Financials, the leading mutual funds distributor in the country. Siya po yung tinataguri ang guru of mutual funds. Okay. 
Yeah, and so I would like to welcome you all to IMG, the total financial solution to all our finan financial problems. Okay, so IMG stands for International Marketing Group. It is a global company that serves as an avenue in achieving financial security. It caters the financial needs of every individual and families who wish to achieve financial independence. IMG's mission and vision is about helping every Filipino family to become wealthy or financially secured by making financial education available for everyone, regardless of your status, mayaman ka man, mahirap, may pera o wala, or professional background, by teaching every Filipino how to save the right way. So in IMG, we will share with you a financial planning strategy that is simple, it's clear, it's doable, and easy to understand. So every day, people go to work to make a living. But no matter how hard we work, no, how, how much we earn, money always seems to control us. In fact, the working Filipinos continue to face uh, increasing challenges in four major areas. So what are these? First is uncertain labor market, meaning there is no security or assurance na yung trabaho natin, nandyan pa ba next month, the next year, kung tayo ba ay continues na nagtatrabaho or bigla tayong nagkasakit. Ayan. Itong pandemic, biglang dumating no, na hindi natin na-expect. So, maraming Filipino workers no, na nawalan ng trabaho. A large number of our factory workers uh, lost their jobs. Okay? So, uh, from Filipino workers, from factories, to food businesses, to sales, have been without jobs for more than more than a year now, okay? So, na-imagine na lang natin yung effect yan or yung impact nun sa families nila na nagugutom or nahirapan dahil nawalan ng trabaho yung breadwinner nila. Another is automation. So, this is where yung advances in technology nire-replace na niya yung human worker. So, for example, when we go to the fast food chains now, no, nagsa-start na, example, McDonald's. So, pagpunta mo doon, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta sa counter para kunin ng crew yung order mo. All you have to do is go to this machine, and then i-type mo lang, click mo lang yung order mo, and then siya na yung magpa-process for you. Okay? You can even pay right then and there. So, wala, hindi na kailangan ng tao. Okay, so pag ganito, Pag nare-replace na yung tao, saan mapupunta yung tao? Saan siya pwedeng makakuha ng, ng income niya? Okay, second challenge is low savings and high debt. Okay, so majority of Filipino workers sakto lang ang nasasweldo per month. Kadalasan, ito pa ay kulang, especially if big yung families, no? And many think, many of us Filipinos think that the only solution to these financial challenges is to borrow money or mautang. Another is yung mentality ng Pinoy na enjoy now, bahala na later, no? So example, some of OFWs, no, they come home as millionaires uh, with all the palibre, magpapainom, drink till you drop. Pero pagbalik naman nila sa trabaho, mangungutang na naman ang gagamitin, okay? So this situation has a big impact on our retirement. Kasi ang mangyari is, imbes na enjoy natin yung pay natin, terminal pay, retirement natin, ang nakukuha natin is ipang babayad lang din sa utang natin. So, madalas, walang natitira sa atin. Okay, kaya, makikita natin na kahit mga retired na employees, nagtatrabaho pa rin kasi kailangan nilang mabuhay. Okay? So, the third challenge is the high cost of education. So we take a look at our example here using the tuition in UST. So most schools have a 6% increase in tuition every three years now. Pero in UST, if I'm not wrong, almost every year may increase. So supposedly, you have a three-year-old child today and the current annual tuition in UST is 111000 So considering the yearly increase rate in tuition that is about 5%, when your three-year-old child starts college, Yung dati na 111,000 na tuition, 232,000 na lang siya. And then mag-i-increase pa yan the following year. 
So if hindi makasabay or hindi enough yung sweldo mo sa current na tuition at dahil gusto mo na makapag-aral yung anak mo sa magandang college, ang nagawin mo is maglo-loan ka, no? You borrow money to pay for the tuition. So by the time nag-imaduate yung anak mo, medyo malaki-laki na rin utang yung naipon. Okay? And the fourth challenge is the increasing cost of living. So last December, yung inflation rate natin is at 3.5%. Yung inflation, tinatawag na kalaban ng pera kasi binababa niya yung value ng pera mo. So if you see, no, a few years back, yung 1,000 pesos mo na gagamitin mo for grocery, marami siyang mabibili. Pero ngayon, ganito mo yung 1,000 pa din. Hindi na ganun kadami. Baka ilang items na lang yung kayang bilhin ng 1,000 natin. Ito ay dahil sa inflation. Okay? So, together with increasing taxes, at kung wala namang increase sa sahod mo, ano ang mangyayari sa atin? Makakapag-save pa ba tayo? At if magkaroon ng emergencies like hospitalizations, kailangan mong may emergencies, na kailangan mong bayaran, ang gagawin natin is to resort to borrowing money. Okay? So, what should we do? Okay. Tayo na walang alam, what should we do? <laughs> Kaya, how can IMG help the Filipino rise in or from the challenges? No? From these challenges. According to Bill Gates, if you were born, born poor, hindi mo yung kasalanan na pinanganak ka na sa mahirap no, na family. Pero, if you will die poor, ibig sabihin, wala kang ginawa man lang to improve your life, kasalanan mo na yun. So, walang ibang tao magsisikap mapabuti ang buhay mo, kundi ikaw lang. Okay? Our future is not in the hands of anyone else, not even the government. So, nobody has the responsibility to make your life better and financially secure, kundi ikaw lang. So, in IMG, we will learn how to make money. Okay? How to save money the right way. Kasi, di ba, akala natin yung ginagawa natin saving is the right way, yung pala hindi. So, in IMG, you will learn that. Okay? And then, we also learn how to accumulate or grow our money and most importantly, to protect the money that we have worked hard for. So understanding how money works and how it will work for us is part of taking care of our future and the future of our family. That's why IMG encourages everyone to acquire financial education because financial education together with discipline will help us become financially successful. Okay, so in order to understand how money works, let me first just introduce to you to some basic financial concepts. These are the expert concept, the power of compound interest using the rule of 72, and how to build a solid financial foundation. Okay. So the expert concept states that over time, or as we grow older, our responsibility decreases and our wealth increases. The X curve in in involves two curves that run opposite directions during our lifetime. The first curve is the responsibility curve, and the second curve is the wealth curve. When we are younger no, and starting a job, normally we don't have money. Wala tayong ipon kasi nagsistart pa lang tayo. So what we do is we work hard to have money. This is what we call active income. Kasi, Kung hindi tayo nagtatrabaho, kung hindi tayo gagala, wala tayong pera, wala tayong income. So during this time also, as we are uh, working, no, we also have the responsibility to take care of our family. So umaasa na sa ikaw, ikaw yung may trabaho, so our parents, our siblings. And lalo na, if we are starting now, our own family. So we are, if we are the breadwinner, no, it is our obligation, whether we live or we die, to provide for food, for shelter, education, health, and of course, to pay our bills and our debts. So our income during this time, kasi nagsistart pa lang tayo, is less secure. Okay? So pwede at the height of building our wealth, bigla tayong nagkasakit or mawala ng work dahil sa calamities. Worse, what if we die too soon? What if tinawag ka na ni Lord ka agad, mga bata pa yung anak mo, yan. So who will take care of your family? Who will take care of your kids? That's where life insurance comes in. Because insurance is instant cash no? that can help your family na bumangon 
in the event na biglang mawala ka, ikaw na breadwinner. So kung ano yung income ni breadwinner, ire-replace ni insurance. Sa insurance, yung sasalo sa'yo. Okay? Siya yung sasalo sa pamilya mo na naiwan mo. Okay. So as we can see here, as we get older, our responsibilities decrease. Meaning, napatapos na natin yung mga anak natin sa college, so less na yun, nabayarin. Nabayaran na natin yung mga loans natin sa housing, sa car, natapos na yun, so less na yun. So, pag wala na yun, yung, yung imbes na pambayad mo sa kanila, yun na yung sinasave mo, ini-invest mo. Ito yung, pag, habang tumatanda na tayo, nag invest tayo, nag-save tayo, ayan, we are building our wealth. Ito yung green curve or yung wealth curve. Okay? So as we get older, medyo uh, mas secure tayo because we know that our investments, our savings are working for us already. Ito yung sinasabing passive income kasi yung money na is already working. Kahit wala kang ginagawa, nag-earn yung pera mo. Okay? So, thus, money takes care of our future when we get old and unemployed. Yes. That's why we can say na mas secure tayo. But the question is, what if you live too long naman? Grinan ka ni God ng mahabang buhay. Who will take care of you? Enough kaya yung savings mo to last you 20 or 30 more years? What if nagkasakit ka? Aasa ba tayo sa government? Aasa ba tayo sa mga anak natin? Although our children out of love will offer to help us, pero until when? Do we also have to start their own families? No? And then ayaw naman natin na maging pabigat sa kanila. So this is where investment and long-term health care comes in. So for this slide, our key points are, if you die too soon, life insurance will take care of your family. And if you live too long, investment and long-term health care, long-term care will take care of you. So it's important non la with this slide, na intindah na natin ang what life insurance is all about. Because I admit before na pag may nagme-mention ng or nag-o-offer ng life insurance, parang inisip ko lagi na additional expense na naman, no? So now that I understood what life insurance is all about, mas gusto ko pang nadagdagan ko yung mga anong life insurance na meron ako kasi alam natin na ito ay para sa hindi pala para sa atin, no? para sa family na maiiwan natin in case bigla tayong tawagin ni Lord. Okay? Yan. So the second uh, concept is the power of compound interest. Ayan. So, paano nag-grow yung money? Paano na-accumulate yung money? So, compound interest is the addition of interest to the principal sum of loan or deposit. In other words, interest on interest. Okay? So, we will describe this para maintindihan natin using the rule of 72. So the rule of 72 is coined by Albert Einstein. Okay? So it is a shortcut used to estimate the number of years required to double your money at a given annual rate of return. So for example, uh, 29 years old ka ngayon. Since you started working, may naitabi kang 100,000 for savings. Okay? So what if yung bank mo, example lang, nagbigay ng 4% na annual interest rate. So, binangko mo siya. Using the rule of 72, no? 72 divided by the 4% is 18. So, it means magdodouble yung money mo every 18 years. So, kung 29 ka ngayon, after 18 years, that is 47 years old ka na, dun pa lang naging 200,000 yung 100,000 mo. And by the time you are retired, Nasa 400,000 na yung 100,000 mo. So, same time, kung ang pinaglagyan mo ng pera mo is 8%, you start at 100,000. So, using the rule of 72, 72 divided by 8 is 9. So, ang money mo, shorter na yung time na mag-double. 9 years na lang siya. So, every 9 years, nag-double. So, by the time that you are 65, nasa 1.6 million na yung pera mo. What more kung may mas malaking mas may nag-offer sa'yo ng 12% interest. Okay? So, 72 divided by 12 is 6. So, every 6 years, nagdodoble yung pera mo. So, comparing this uh, this to 
uh, the 4% and 12% sobrang laki ng difference from 400,000 to 6.4 million. Okay? So, <clears throat> later we will learn where where can we avail of this 8% and 12% interest interest rates okay so for those of us who are maintaining savings accounts no sa banks alam po ba natin kung magkano or il, ano yung annual interest na binibigay ng bank sa atin okay sa totoong buhay pala 1% or less okay so using the rule of 72 72 divided by 1 is 72 72 years pa bago magdoble yung pera mo so if ever 30 years old ka ngayon tapos naglagay ka ng 100,000 sa savings deposit mo, tapos 1% yung interest, buhay ka pa kaya noon after 72 years to enjoy yung pagdoble ng pera mo? Yan, mas nakakalungkot yung lower than 1%, kasi 0.20%, no? So, ang money mo, nagdo-double every 360 years. So, just imagine na ilalagay mo nang matagal yung money mo sa bank na ganun lang yung interest okay so sabi dito the interest in savings account is currently too low to offset inflation and taxes mas mababa sila sa inflation so paano makakasabay yung pera natin yung sweldo natin kung ganito siya kababa okay so yan so Pero ang sad, uh, we are not against banks. No, we need all, we need them also. We need the banks for us to put our money na madali natin siyang uh, i-withdraw. Okay? So, knowing this, ano yung pwede natin gawin no? para kahit pa paano, masabayan natin itong inflation and taxes. So, we look for vehicles na pwede natin paglagyan ng money natin para mag-grow siya faster, no? It will not take uh, several years. Okay. So, ang sabi dito, investment in mutual funds can offset inflation. So, investments, there are two kinds. We have the stock market and mutual funds. Stock market is direct investing wherein ikaw mismo yung directly na bumibili ng shares ng stocks ng companies. So, if you have enough knowledge, if you have the knowledge and you have the uh, enough time to do this buying and uh, selling, pwede. Yung stock market, sa stock market ka mag, uh, you do the direct investing. However, if you are most of us na walang ka-idea, walang knowledge whatsoever sa stock market, may pag-asa pa tayo na mag-invest kasi we have mutual funds. Ito yung indirect investing. So in mutual funds, my manager, my professional money managers na sila yung mag aasikaso ng pera natin. So, sa mutual funds, marami tayong investors. So, lahat kayo, ibigay niyo yung pera doon, then sila po ang mag invest na sa company, sa big company. Sila yung bibili ng shares. Tapos, ang advantage dito is diverse. Ibig sabihin, maraming companies yung yung binibilhan nila ng shares. Okay? Tapos, one more is ah, uh, there's low investment minimum. Ibig sabihin, kahit uh, tawag dito, uh, 1,000 lang yung pera mo, pwede ka na mag-open ng mutual fund account mo. Okay? And then, also, it's very liquid. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-earn na yung money mo, you can withdraw it anytime. Okay? Ayan. So, dito sa investment, dito natin makikita yung... Or, mahanap yung vehicles na nagbibigay ng 8%, 12%, or higher pa ng mga interest rates. Okay? So, so, investment kasi, it's highly regulated by the government. Tapos may mga nakaset lang po siya na interest rates. Like, for example, if I'm not mistaken, until 18 or 20%. Pag may nag-offer sa'yo ng investment like triple your money in a month, alam mo na na-scam yun. Okay? Kaya takot yung tao na mag-invest kasi lagi nilang ina-associate sa, sa scam. Okay? So, but if we, pag na, nagkaroon tayo ng knowledge or information about investment, yan yan, mas makakampante tayo. Like, for example, yun, sa, may may ibang tao na, ah, ayoko mag-invest sa stock market kasi baka mas scam ako. Sa ano na lang ako maglagay? Sa bank or sa SSS? Do you know na pati si SSS ay nag invest sa mutual fund. <laughs> Yon, ato. 
eto may mga news articles na nag-invest invest sila by the billions no sa mutual funds kasi gusto nila na yung billions nila mag-grow pa further para may pambayad sila sa mga na magpe-pension na okay yan so so if you want more uh, details on this you can always ask your the person invited you because in IMG we have classes that will discuss uh, investments uh, in detail. Okay. And then we have the last financial concept is to have to be able to build a solid financial foundation. So building a solid financial foundation is just like building a house from the ground up. So wala pa po tayo nakitang bahay na inuuna ang bubong tsaka yung poste, tsaka yung foundation or yung flooring niya. So a solid foundation, financial foundation should look like this. First, we must have proper health care coverage. Second, we must have proper protection or ito yung insurance in case you die early. Third, to be able to manage and pay off all our utang. And the next is we must be able to set aside some money as emergency fund. And then lastly, we should be able to save and make long-term investments. Okay? So, <clears throat> let us discuss about proper health care. So, statistics show that 90% of all bankruptcies are due to unforeseen or unexpected illnesses and hospitalization. So, getting sick in the Philippines no, without health care is very expensive. It greatly affects a person's financial stability, especially pag nasa matanda na siya. Kasi imbes yung savings niya, yung nakalaan for investment or insurance or iba pa, nagagamit pang gastos, pambayad ng hospital bills or pambayad ng mga medications. Unfortunately, a lot of Filipinos die when they get sick. Not because walang treatment or medicine, but because wala silang perang pambayad to pay for this okay so based on my experience no since i've worked in a government hospital marami marami pilipino nagsasabi na doc iuwi na lang namin si tatay or si nanay kasi wala na po talaga wala na kami pambili ng gamot okay so yun yung nakakalungkot sa atin okay so there are three types of health care we have the short term health care the senior care and long term health care so short-term healthcare is the traditional HMO. So this is the healthcare you get from the company kung saan ka employed. It has no life insurance coverage. And renewal is not guaranteed, especially if mataas yung claims. No? And it only covers until age 60 or when you retire. So after you retire, hindi ko siya madadala. Wala na rin, good as zero coverage. Okay? Next is the senior care. So this is similar to the short-term care, but it covers beyond 60 years old. Pero ito, mahal siya kasi, di ba, pag 60 na natin, pag mga senior na tayo, doon na natin, doon na lumalabas kung mga nararamdaman natin, kung ano-ano. So mas nagagamit yung insurance, kaya mas mahal siya. And then, yun nga, pag hindi mo nagamit, hindi mo rin siya ma-reimburse. Good as Pero at least, di ba, nagbayad ka for coverage just in case magkasakit ka. And next, we have the long-term health care. It is health care coverage with health savings account. So dito, it has a fixed premium program, usually seven years to save, and then magmamature siya in 20 years. So it is renewable, and all unused funds, ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya nagamit, will accumulate, mag-grow pa siya, lalaki pa siya with interest. And it covers after you retire. So hanggang 80 ka, hanggang 100 ka, covered ka pa rin niya. Okay. Next, we have proper protection on life and disability or eating insurance. The main purpose of life insurance is to protect your loved ones, no business or properties the moment you die. So being breadwinners, or a working spouse or parent, ang goal naman natin is to meet not just the basic needs of our families, but to strive to at least give them a comfortable life, if not a luxurious one, okay? So while we work hard to realize this goal, hindi natin maiwasan yung mga things na hindi natin makontrol. For example, 
we suddenly get sick, no? or worse, we die. So what will happen to our family? What will happen to the education of our kids? So, kung wala tayong insurance, mahirapan sila. We can be sure na hindi magiging comfortable ang buhay nila. And nakakalungkot, kung hindi talaga na sila makaahol sa kahirapan. Okay? So, but if we have insurance together with some savings, this will be like instant cash or money na pwede nilang gamitin para makabangon at maka-adjust sa changes. With life insurance, mas kampante tayo na mamimit pa rin nila yung basic needs nila. Para yung insurance, like I said a while ago, ang magiging replacement mo. Okay. So, it's important na malaman natin kung magkano yung insurance na kailangan natin. Diba? We have to know. Kasi, kung may mag-offer sa'yo ng insurance, baka kulang. No? Baka hindi enough para ma-cover ma yung family mo. So, to know yung Uh, insurance coverage na kailangan mo, we compute your monthly, your yearly income times 10 years. So for example, you have your annual income is 240,000 no? times 10, 10 years. You should, you have at least 2.4 million na coverage for your family just in case na bigla kang tawagin ni Lord. Okay? And then next is we should be able to manage our debts, no? yung mga utang natin, and reduce our mga bayarin. Okay. So, sino sa atin po dito sa class na ito ang walang utang? Can you type in a chat box or raise your hands? Sino walang utang dito? Okay. So, in the Philippines daw, many, many companies make it very easy and convenient for people to borrow money. Okay. So for example, when you go to the malls, no, madalas nakakakita tayo ng zero installment rates when you use your credit cards or buy now, pay later, mga ganun. So hinihikayat ka to use your credit card. In short, hinihikayat kang mangutang. Okay? So, pero ang dapat, ang moto dapat sa credit card is if you don't have cash to pay for a certain item, wala ka sa bank mo, wala sa bulsa mo, hindi mo siya kayang bayaran at once. Do not use your credit card. Kasi ibig sabihin lang nun, pagdating ni due date ng credit card, wala kang pambayad, hindi enough yung money mo para bayaran yung inutang mo. Okay? Hindi naman pwede yung minimum fee lang ang babayaran mo. Although maglalagay yung credit card ng uh, minimum fee, you can pay minimum fee of 500. Kanyari 20,000 yung inutang mo tapos maglalagay ng minimum fee. Isipin mo, ah, pwede pa siguro. Pwede pang, pwede kahit minimum fee lang muna. Yan. Hindi natin alam na mga nganak yun kasi may interest. Okay? Kung hindi mo mabayaran in full yung utang mo pagdating ng due date, mga nganak yun. So, and do you know how much ang interest rate sa credit cards? Sa Philippines. Okay? They say worse ang Philippines kasi ang, three point, ang interest na binibigay is 3.5% or higher per month. Okay? So hindi siya per year. <laughs> So, kung ikakompute mo, 42% per annum ang interest rates ng credit card. So, using the rule of 72, kasi hindi lang sa saving nag apply yung rule of 72, pwede rin siya sa utang. So, 72 divided by 42, o magka, ilan yun? So, halos every year, dumodoble yung utang na hindi mo nabayaran. Okay? So, you have to take note, take to heart na All loans, all utang are to be paid with interest. Laging may interest yan. So once na nag-start ka at hindi mo siya nabayaran agad, magiging mabigat na burden talaga siya. As much as possible, do not start na mga utang. Sabi nga nila, you can never be truly free unless you are utang free. Okay? So in IMG, we have special classes that will tackle on this uh, how to manage your debts and reduce liabilities, no? Like, for example, the strategies like snowball effect, avalanche. So, if you are interested, you just contact the person invited you so that she will or he will um, give you more details. Okay? So, our key points in this uh, slide is as much as possible, wag po tayong mangutang. If we have to live below our means, do so para lang hindi ka matemp na mutang. Okay? 
So next is we should have an emergency fund. So an emergency fund is money na naitabi mo in cases of emergencies like bigla kang nawala ng trabaho or biglang nagsara ang business mo nung dumating itong pandemic, no? O kaya nasiraan ka ng sasakyan, no? At if pumutok yung ano, yung tatlong gulong ng sasakyan mo, yung sasakyan mo ginagamit mo sa business mo. So right then and there, kailangan mo palitan agad yung gulong. So di ba, ang gulong ngayon is around 5,000. So 15,000 agad yung kailangan mo. What if nasunugan ka ng bahay or naaksidente na ospital, okay? So, dapat meron tayong money, emergency fund na madali nating ma-withdraw, okay? Para magamit natin. So, how do we compute kung magkano dapat ang emergency fund na ating itatabi? Okay? So, we compute by multiplying our monthly income times 12 months. So for example, yung monthly income natin is 20,000 times 12. Meron dapat tayong naitabi na nandyan lang siya, 240,000 pesos. Anytime na uh, may emergency tayo, at least, dun tayo kukuha. Okay? So ito yung nilalagay natin sa bank natin, sa ATMs, para madali natin siyang na-withdraw. So pag meron tayong emergency fund, hindi mo na kailangang dalawin yung pera mo na nakalaan for insurance, for investments, in times of emergencies. Okay? And lastly, we should be able to build up our savings and investments. Okay? So according to uh, Sir Rex Mendoza, you do not have the right to invest unless you are properly protected. Okay, so wag ka daw mag ano, wag kang mag asam or wag ano na mag bumili ng anas ta uh, share sa stock market kung wala kang healthcare, wala kang life insurance. Kasi if balik tari natin yung foundation, no, yung financial foundation, like most Filipinos, no, inuuna natin magpatay ng bahay bumili ng kotse, bumili ng mga alahas. Although, hindi naman bad all the time, pero si kailangan natin. Pero kailan yun nga, dapat ma-educate tayo kung ano dapat yung unahin. Okay? So, tapos, maglalaan tayo ng konting emergency fund. We were not financially educated, kaya we don't know how much to save for emergency fund. Madalas sa Filipinos yung mangutang. Mabala, madalas yung pinabili natin ng bahay natin, pagpagawa o pabili ng kotse, inutang pa natin, di ba? Madalas sa car loans, housing loans, sa pag-ibig. Ayan. So yung debts natin, utang natin, siya yung lumalaki. Pwede rin tayong kumuha ng life insurance. Pero dahil hindi tayo well-informed, hindi enough yung coverage na nakukuha natin. Okay? So pwede yung healthcare din natin, nagdepend lang tayo sa binibigay ng company sa atin. No? Like, okay lang, uh, hindi na ako bibili ng kukuha ng healthcare kasi meron namang binibigay sa company. No? Na without fully understanding na pag-retire mo, hindi mo siya madadala. Good as wala ka na rin healthcare coverage. So what if we retire? Then bigla tayong nagkasakit. Wala na yung healthcare ng company na pwede mag-cover for us, di ba? Tapos what if we die too soon? Yung maliit na insurance natin will not be enough for our family. No? So ang madalas nangyari is nangungutang pa rin para may gamitin. So yung debts natin ang lumalaki. At dahil need natin bayaran ang mga utang natin, nagagamit natin ang nakasave for emergency fund. As well as yung in-invest natin sa bahay, at lupa, sa sasakyan, mga alahas, madalas niibibenta natin ang mga ito para may pambayad sa utang. Okay? So kahit gaano pa kalaki ang na-save mo or gaano kadaming shares ang nabili mo sa stock market, the moment na nagkasakit ka or namatay ka without proper healthcare and without insurance, ang lahat na ito ay pwedeng mawala. Okay? Pwedeng ma-wipe out. Okay. So for most of us no, na bago pa lang dito sa mga concepts na ito, di naman natin agad-agad mabibuild ang ating solid financial foundation. Pero if there are three major financial needs na dapat natin unahin, siguro doon i-secure muna para sa sarili natin, para sa pamilya natin, these are proper healthcare, proper protection or life insurance, and savings and investments in order for us to have enough retirement fund. 
So here in IMG, we are here to educate you so that you will know what is the best insurance for you or where to invest your money for your future retirement. Okay. So how do you know how much you need to have enough retirement fund? So this is important taman for everyone kasi ito yung time na wala na tayong trabaho, wala na tayong active source of income. So dapat natin paghandaan. Okay? So to have enough retirement fund, we'll multiply our annual income times 20 years. So for example, our annual income is 240,000 multiplied by 20, that is 4.8 million. Ito yung dapat nating goal na retirement fund para sure tayo na comfortable tayo habang na sa retirement years na natin. Okay? So in order for us to have this enough fund, ang advice is to invest in mutual fund and long-term health care. Okay, so after knowing all these concepts na and realizing that we need to start saving as soon as possible, next question is how do we start? Okay, so alam na natin na, ah, ganito pala, ganito pala, insurance and investment, kailangan to start early, no? Paano natin masimulang mabuild ang ating financial foundation? This is where IMG comes in to give you not just financial education, but provide you with a platform to start increasing your income and to give you access to the different trusted companies that will offer you the right insurance and investment vehicles okay so one of IMG's partner companies that will help you start building your solid financial foundation is Kaiser International so if you have heard of Kaiser it is the only company in the Philippines that offers long-term health care that is coupled with protection and investment so if we take a look at our example here, example yung K100 plan ng Kaiser, the installment amount or annual saving is 58,821. So you will be saving this yearly for seven years, which will total to a contract price of 411,750. So for seven years, magsisave ka until 411, until maging 411,000 yung, yung money mo. Okay, so during your saving period, no, uh, first seven years, meron ka ng benefits na makukuha while saving pa, pa lang. So these are free checkups, the annual PEs, no, dental benefits, and waiver of installment for death and disability, and so on. So example, nakabayad ka ng first one to two years pa lang, and then bigla kang nagkasakit, hindi na ka makapagtrabaho, or worse, bigla kang tinawag ni Lord. So yung five years na dapat pang, pang say, uh, na, na magbayad ka or magsisave ka, good as paid na yon ni Kaiser. So aantayin mo na lang na magmature siya. Okay? So after the seven-year sa saving period, we will allow our money to grow. No, for about 13 years. So ito yung growth period niya. Antay natin na lumago yung money natin. So during the growth period, we still get the benefits of free medical checkups and dental checkups. And upon reaching maturity after 20 years, our money that we saved worth 411,750 has now accumulated to almost 1.2 million. Okay? Ayan. So after the growth period and after our money has grown into 1.2 million, no, we have the following options. So we can withdraw the entire maturity value of 1.2 million. Pwede natin withdraw part of it and iwan mo yung part of it then, kunyari half-half iwan mo para mag-grow pa or pwede mong iwan na lang the whole maturity value, yung 1.2 kung hindi mo naman kailangan, pwede mo siyang iwan doon para lalo pa siyang dumake. Okay, so dito sa harvest period kasi nakikita natin if hindi natin gagalawin yung nag-mature na pera natin if you just let it grow by the age, by age 65 na magre-retire ka na yung 1.2 million mo naging nag-grow siya to 6.4 million. 
Pero since kaka-retire mo pa lang, no, na may pera ka pa gagamitin, so hindi mo pa kailangan. Let us stay pa. So by the time na 65 ka, nag-grow na siya to 10.4. Di ba? Masaya na yung retirement mo with that amount. Okay. So, Kaiser is just one partner company for you to start your financial foundation. Okay. So, if we can see here, we have here several companies na hindi naman siya pipitsugin. Now, these are big companies who believe in the principles of ING. Okay. So, for healthcare, we have Kaiser International. For life insurance, we have Manila Bankers and Fidelity Life. For investments, we have the following. So, Vivo, PAMI, Phil Equity, Sun Life, Atra, MyTrade. For real estate, we have SMDC, Ayala Land. For general insurance, we have the following as well as the Allied Financial Services. Okay? So, if you decide to start building your financial foundation with ING, I tell you, you have overwhelming benefits. So, basing on the basic financial concepts and principles of building wealth, IMG is so generous to give you ways and means to start saving no, for your future. As of this time, kasi pwede pang madagdagan, we have 48 benefits just by being a member. No? So, benefits 1 to 39 are applicable for those based in the Philippines and additional benefits 40 to 48 are given to OFWs who are members. Okay. So allow me then to mention some of this, these benefits that will allow you to start building your wealth via being an IMG member. So we have, once you're a member, you have free financial seminars and checkups. You have free 100,000 personal accident insurance. You have 50,000 life insurance from Fidelity Life. You have free eye checkup and eyeglass frames. Actually, ito, you have two free eyeglass frames every year. You have free unlimited consultation with Kaiser Medical Center, access to Kaiser Healthcare, access to MD Life, 0% entry fee on mutual fund investments. Kasi sa mutual funds, pag nag-apply ka, no, uh, May mga papeles and documents and may entry fee, may babayaran ka to open an account. But if you're a member of IMG, automatic na may account ka na plus may 1,000 peso worth of investments ka na doon. You also have access to stock market or direct investing via my trade. You have discounts on non-life insurances, discount on real estate purchases, free Everest Memorial Services and discount on car purchases. But there's more. Ayan. So we also have the opportunity to build your own financial brokerage business, travel the world for free care of ING, and be given recognitions and additional incentives. Okay, so your question now is how to become a member. Okay, so we have two membership options. First option is basic membership. So you just pay a one-time payment of 6,000 pesos. This is for Philippine-based uh, members, no? 6,000 yung babayaran nila. And then what you will have is access to the different benefits that I mentioned, the 50,000 death memorial benefit, 100,000 accident insurance benefit, yung online mutual fund account, yung Soldivo fund na meron ka na, and then free financial uh, unlimited education trainings and classes. So if we see no from the on the upper right portion of the slide, nakikita natin na just by being a member, nagsa-start ka na na mag-build ng financial foundation mo. Covered na yung life insurance mo and investment. Okay? So, magsa-start ka na lang sa iba. But, if you opt to become an associate or advanced member, you have to pay an additional 5,882 on top of the 6,000. Okay? Why? Paano nangyari ito? Na 12,382. Kasi when you are an advanced member, 
meron ka ng Kaiser Healthcare. Okay, di ba sabi natin sa Kaiser Healthcare, meron na siyang long-term healthcare, may insurance, and investment. Okay, so what are the other benefits of being an advanced member or associate? No? You have access to the benefits I mentioned. You can be licensed and accredited financial uh, uh, advisors. No? You can start your financial brokerage business, which will give you six-figure income potential. No? So if nag-earn ka na ng ganitong kalaki, ibig sabihin, ayan na, increase cash flow, meron ka ng pambayad ng ma, uh, utang mo, may may tatabi ka na, na uh, for emergency fund, and then may pang-invest ka na rin. Okay? So, pagdating naman sa burial and natural death benefit, tumataas siya compared to the basic members, membership na 50,000, 50, no? naging 500,000 na. And then, yung 100,000 mo na accident insurance benefit, nagiging 1 million na siya. And then, you have your mutual fund account and unlimited financial education trainings and classes. So if you choose this, the advanced membership, your initial payment is 12,3882. That is 6,000 plus the first month of Kaiser that is 5,882. So in the following months na nababayaran mo, it's only 5,882. Save mo na lang siya for seven years. Ito na yung pinakita ko nung una na uh, saving period. Okay? If you want to save uh, annually para may discount, mas maganda din po. Okay? There. So, after learning all of this, no, nabigyan ka na ng information. Na, nalaman mo yung concepts. Okay? Nailatag na rin sa'yo yung ways to start. How to start. Binigyan ka ng uh, access to start. So what should you do? Okay? Marami, I'm sure marami pa rin sa atin na maraming excuse like may binabayaran pa akong utang, di pa ako makapag-start, or ikakasal na yung anak ko, di ko pa ako makapag-start. Marami tayong excuse not to save or invest. No? Pero no matter what our excuses are, ang, mangyaya, ang fact is we are go going to get old next year. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? So as we get old, our children will grow up also. They will enter college. They need money. So kailangan natin pag-ipunan yung education nila. And then, ang pinakamasaklat is we will eventually retire. Mawawala na tayo ng trabaho. We will stop making income. So kailan tayo mag-start? No? Alangan na mag-start tayo pag nag na tayo. Wala na. Wala na tayong may isa-save. So what should you do? You have to take action, no? You have to start now, okay? And sabi nila, since, yun nga, hindi natin alam ang pwedeng mangyari sa atin. Pwedeng healthy tayo ngayon, we are earning big, mas bigla tayong nawala tomorrow, yan. So kailangan natin pagpandaan kasi hindi tayo, hindi natin alam. We don't hold the future, we cannot predict the future. So, ang best thing to do is to be ready. So, it is important to be with a group no, who inspires you. Kasi when these members, the people who surround you, if they save no, and invest, may inspire ka rin to follow their, their actions. May inspire ka rin to save, may inspire ka rin to invest. Okay? So yung mission talaga ni IMG is to convert people, no, educate people from being spenders to savers and to teach them how to save the right way. Kasi may mga right way of saving. Okay? So in IMG, you will learn all of this. Okay? Sabi nga nila, pag naging member ka na IMG, naging kuripot ka na. <laughs> Kasi no, you have to know na o, ano yung dapat tong paghandaan in the future. Okay? So ano yung pwede yung maging career path mo when you join IMG? So, in IMG, you will have savings, and if you have, if you do this part time, you will have extra income on top of your present job. But if you want to do it full time, maging career mo na siya, the better. And then, of course, the pinaka important is unlimited financial education. Ayan. So in IMG, we have this campaign, no? Tawag dito is thirty million by thirty. So IMG. 
uh, parang gusto nila na ang campaign nila is to educate 30 million Filipinos, financially educate them by 2030. So, as of now, yung sa campaign counter natin, 3.4 million na po yung na-educate na IMG. So, if you want to reach this goal of 30 million, no, be, be officially counted. You can give us your name, your date of birth, or email address to the person invited you so that we can pre-approve your membership. Okay, be one, be officially counted, be one of those financially educated Filipinos. Okay? So, sabi nila, financial independence is not a dream, no? Parang, it is a decision to make. Meaning, lahat naman tayo, lahat tayo, pinangarap natin na darat na pupunta or na darating yung time na hindi natin problemahin yung pera, no? That we will be comfortably enjoying our retirement, okay? So sana hindi natin siya gawing dream lang. Gawin natin siya, we have to take action to make it a reality, okay? So to start, no, you have to decide as early as now, no? Okay, to start with this, uh, to make our dream uh, come true. So what better way to do this, no, than starting your journey with IMG? So IMG will guide you, will give you the information, loads of information that you need to start building your financial uh, uh, success. No? It will give you access, will give you the platform to start uh, uh, aiming for that financial, uh, bright financial future. Okay, so if you have questions, if you're interested, please Please give a message to the person who invited you and then ask for more details for things na medyo nalalabuan pa kayo or if you want to join now, okay, you just message me. Here is my contact number. You can uh, message any one of us na members or those who invited you. Okay. We hope, I hope you learned something and I hope I've helped you now realize uh, na kailangan palang paghandaan yung future natin. Okay, thank you so much and God bless you all. Bye-bye. I will always remember The day you kissed my lips Light as a feather And it went just like this No, it's never been better Than the summer Of 2002 We were only 11 But acting like grown-ups like we are in the present Drinking from plastic cups, singing love is forever <laughs> and never Well, I guess